On behalf of Southern Airlines and the Trial Group, as well as the entire crew, we'd like to thank you for choosing to travel with us today, and we hope you have a great vacation and a great stay here, and thank you. Thank you. So my wife recently turned 40 years old and to celebrate we headed down to Mexico with another couple who actually also recently turned 40 and we stayed at the Royalton Riviera Cancun which is a beautiful resort. But for this trip we didn't just want to rest and relax, chill, eat and drink, we also wanted to add some adventure into the mix. So we hopped in a car and drove down to Tulum which was about an hour and a half from where we were staying. There's tons of cenotes in that area, but one that came highly recommended to us was one called Dos Ojos, which translates to two eyes. So after getting our mask, fins, and snorkel, we followed our guide, who didn't happen to speak English sadly, uh, down some steps into this almost like magical looking movie set. It was kind of like a mouth opening up out of rock but I guess a more accurate description would be an eye, because it's called two eyes, so. The guide gave us a quick instruction how to turn on our waterproof light. So after flicking on my light, I put on my mask and was ready to hop in the water. Below the water, there were divers uh, asking me not to shine my light in their eye, so tried to stop doing that. We started off swimming and you can see the stalactites and stalagmites, if I'm saying that correctly. There's my wife waving. Hi dear. And as you can see it was pretty shallow, um, the area that we had to swim through at times. And you could start to notice a little uh, film on top of the water. Um, we'll come back to that later. So it was surreal. It looked like a really expensive movie set, and sometimes it was even a little scary. Who's laughing? Eventually we made it to this more open cave area with a bunch of bats flying around, which explained the film on top of the water, guano. Guano! That sounds so familiar. Bat droppings. Bat poo, uh, which was not ideal. Yummy! Pretty gross. Oh, hey John. Oh, sorry about the light in your eye. Oh, hi fishies. Oh yeah, one of the more beautiful parts was uh, not my wife posing in this beam of light. It was this area that was kind of forbidden. You weren't allowed to swim through, but it was a glimpse into the other eye of the cenote. This footage doesn't even really represent it as well as it was in real life. It was surreal. It was like this beautiful blue glowing eye on the other side of this dark cavern. So that was pretty much the end of that part of the tour. The guide kind of yeah, took that off. Is. That was the second eye. So independently we walked over to the first eye and I hopped in to take a look around. The water was clear and beautiful, and I actually didn't know how beautiful it was until I looked back and I was like, oh shit. Like, damn, look at that sunlight glistening through there. So I decided to get back under the water, try and get a shot where I looked as cool as possible. Look at those divers in that nice sunlight glistening in the back yeah it was awesome so one last hop in look at me looking around as if I could see I can't see anything and that was the end of Dos Ojos a uh, cenote that I would highly recommend. Keep in mind, I only went to one, so take that for what it's worth. <laughs>